So for heating in the lab, you can have various instruments. And one of the most common one that you will find is a hot plate. Okay, and a hot plate looks like this, where you have um, a flat uh, top. And then you may have two, or you may just have one control here. In this case, you have two controls here. One is for the heating, and one is for the stirring. The stirring is if you want to stir something in there along with heating it. And the stirring is actually a magnetic stirring. And usually, you will not need this one um, in general chemistry. You will need more of the heat over here. So what you do is you get your hot plate, and you plug it in. And hopefully, the light will come on. And then you can start heating um, the hot plate. The hot plate goes from 0 to about 10. 10 is the highest. Usually, you will keep it between 4 and 5 in order to boil water, for example. If you need it a little bit higher, that's fine. Each hot plate has its own uh, heating rate. So then you can go ahead and place whatever thing you want to evaporate or heat on a hot plate, and it's all great, except for one thing, um, and that is adding boiling chips. <clears throat> and what you'll have to do when you're boiling water or any kind of a solvent is you will have to add boiling chips to that because it aids in the boiling. Otherwise, the air that is trapped in the water or that's mixed in the water will come out as a huge bubble. So for that reason, you will need a couple of boiling chips. This is what the boiling chips look like. It's just, you know, small chips. This is Teflon ones. You can also have marble ones or pumice ones. Whichever ones are there uh, in your lab, use those and add about two or three boiling chips in there. And that will aid in the boiling um, once the boiling is going on. So uh, this is a very safe kind of thing to do, and you must add the boiling chips in order to promote uh, even boiling. OK. And here is the water boiling now with the boiling chips. If the boiling chips were not there, then you would not have this kind of an even boiling. You would see huge bubbles of air coming out, and those can actually hurt you. So this kind of an even boiling is supposed to be good. Okay, And this happens only because of the boiling chips. So don't forget the boiling chips.